3 a.m. right now and welcome to the Cebuano Foodie. We're on the road again. This time we're not going south, we're going north. In fact, we're going to the northernmost part of Cebu and that is Bantayan Island where beautiful white beaches await us and an adventure where we're going to find out what food the island municipality has to offer so stay tuned and enjoy the whole video thank you for watching Hello, we're now in Katmon. We've made really good progress in just two hours. We got all the way here and we're expected to be in uh, the Anbantayan either 6 or maybe 5.30. The road is not the most lighted that I've ever been. Huge problem with it is that there are really no street lights prior to us getting here in Tatmo but good thing I'm in good hands anyway um, we'll catch you later bye past 8 because we had to go through the barge but it's always a relaxing awe-inspiring sight to see the white beaches of Santa Fe it's not as sunny because this was taken at around December but it was really good we took the time to have breakfast at Amihan and took some photos too and we headed straight to the Santa Fe beach and we stayed at this wonderful, wonderful lodge in Bantayan where we got a really, really good deal. It's a quaint, really nice shared space where you can also get your own private rooms. Me and my companion, we took one private room for only 700 pesos. You have to check out their website so that you can see their most current prices but they always keep it reasonable uh, that's good for two and it also includes a hefty breakfast of eggs and whatever else is available what's amazing here is that there are of course shared spaces so you can get to talk to other people other than your own companions and the staff are really 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 accommodating and nice so as you can see it's a really homey feel in this area and there are shared spaces of course as of the moment they insist on social distancing and when we went there it really wasn't at full capacity this is their pantry where you also get unlimited free water and unlimited drinks. Coffee is free, uh, malt is free, our favorite Milo is free, and many other drinks that you can take from the pantry. In fact, you can even cook in this area. Just bring your own food and knock yourself out. So I'll put more details in the description. So I'm finally in Bantayan and we're going to eat this food. Okay, I can. 
and it's only 195 right there Right. So what are you doing? I think it's, I don't know, I'm not sure. Chicken halang halang? No, it's not one selection box. See you. other than the beach we also came here to check out the food that's famous in the island and goes without saying since they're an island there's lots of seafood but one thing that separates them is the variety of dried seafood that's available here of course you can get this from the port but if you do have the time go to the Bantayan market and check your options out there one really good thing about it is that you get to enjoy these things at lower prices because at the end of the day you still have the chance to choose which ones you would want to get and of course we cannot leave the island without visiting their famous church it has gotten a lot of recent press because of the artwork that they placed on the ceiling wait for it you'll see it in a bit it really is just simply astounding of course it has its references biblical and some European art but the artists or artists uh, did make sure that it had Filipino elements look at that what a beautiful way to cap this trip up. Thank you for watching the Cebuano Foodie and watch out for the next video. Ciao!